<clears throat> it is Sunday, February 19th. So I was gonna, I had intentions of walking them down to the lower arena today, but there's way over there, kitty corner, um, they are firing guns and doing their four wheelers, which everybody here gets angry about that. Um, I'm okay with it because those scary noises desensitize the horses. I had put hay way down there at that end and they just refused to come down. So I left the hay down there and I brought them a second bale and I put it up here and they're eating. And when the gunfire went off, they put their heads up really high, but they did get a little nervous, but they didn't take off running. So this is every Sunday. Um, now that it's nice out, they're going to be four wheeling and, um, shooting guns, which like I said, just only in, with thoroughbreds, I mean, they could be around. They both grew up with that and they never get used to it. So that's what I'm trying to say is like a thoroughbred breed. I've just they just never get used to any of that they'll hear the noise and it gets them really revved up and scared inside so up here it's so loud that they didn't even need to go down there to be desensitized so that's what's going on today um i don't know if you can hear that they might even try to go on the hay field but they're not allowed One of the girls that's the manager here, quote unquote, she said they bought the land and that's what they're going to do with it is dirt bike and gunshots. And I really don't care, to be honest. Um, she grew up at a farm where the kid whose mom was the breeder dirt biked all four wheelered all over the property. He was at a pasture for years where people four wheelered all over the property. And as far as gunshots, he was living with my other mare who, the one that was older that passed away, and they were um, at another self-care board that we left because of interactions with the landowner. She was starting to have dementia, and that's what a lot of landowners do is when they get older, they lease their land out so that they can make money in their old age and they've already paid off but the thing was is she was constantly in my face she was accusing me of stuff I wasn't doing just really weird stuff like the voices in her head and she had a addiction to um I forget what that opioid is it starts with a p I think anyways she was addicted to that and taking way too much she kept running out and her mind wasn't right. So we had to move out of there. Um, so now we're here and the landowner here, he's up in his late 80s as well. And he's been doing this for like 50 years. He's always had this be a horse property. So he's always, he's always had this be a self care board. He's pretty laid back. He's a really good guy. Um, he doesn't like to come out in the cold so we've got like a pile of sticks over there that eventually need to get cleared out last last summer we cleared out the other pile of sticks that was over there I just restacked that pile of sticks because I think the two of them have been going in there looking for grass and they still had first cutting hay left so they weren't out of hay but now they have two full bales of first cutting and a half bale Oh no, two full bales of second cutting and a half a bale of first. So I won't have to bring them more hay tomorrow. They have plenty for the next two and two days. <sighs> well, it's a chemtrailed sky underneath all those fake clouds. At least some sun is coming through a little bit. But yeah, some days you just have it in your head that you want to do do something and then you end up like your whole plan changes so that's why the ride or die day um I was like no matter what I'm riding my horse you know 
and it was windy but then it got worse all week i mean it went from maybe 10 to 15 mile an hour winds the day that i did the ride or die to uh 40 mile an hour winds the next day and even 50 mile an hour winds the day after so there was no riding on those days i mean i'm not i'm not crazy well people say i'm crazy because i do do a lot of things that a lot of people wouldn't normally do but um i'm not a risk taker per se i just feel like there's certain things there's certain levels i'm comfortable with and certain things I'm not comfortable with and I'm okay with riding in the wind but I'm not okay with riding in the wind which it is kind of windy right now with gunfire and I wasn't planning on riding I was gonna walk them down there and let them just kind of hang out in that lower arena where I rode the last video that I made and I was going to let them get comfortable and then I was going to walk them around the chicken coop and let them graze in the hay field. But the girl who always lets her horses out on the hay field because those guys are firing guns and four wheeling and her horses are not skittish at all. She wouldn't even. See and I would. I, I, I would have but the reason I'm not is because I don't really need a catastrophe right now. You know. I feel like. If we are out on the hay field and all of a sudden there's like pop, 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 pop of gunfire, there's a good chance that they might get away from me. Um, cause I'm going to be having two of them in my hands. And so anyways, but I did publish one of my journals and I am going to do a video and put the video on Amazon. Um, I'm an illustrator and an artist and a horsewoman so the journal has illustration that I did of him and it's just pretty it's uh, you know it would be kind of like one of those keepsakes you would buy as a gift for somebody I don't know that necessarily like a horse person would splurge for themselves um, the health journal I'm working on right now also and I'm also working on the book I decided I was going to write Poppy's healing journey story just to get it out there I am not a writer I am not a publisher I'm terrible at English I had a lot of gaps in my education as a child so I'm the queen of run on sentences I don't have an editor Oh, if he pees on that hay, I'm going to smack him. Look at him. Oh, my God. He's right over the good hay peeing on it. Well, that's your food, so you, you're you going to have to eat your hay that has your pee on it, dumbass. <laughs> He's so dumb. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to take a pee right here on my fresh, nice hay. Uh, you're going to eat it. You'll be eating your pee then. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I try to keep it as locked up as possible which it's all locked up half of the first bale is down at Jamie's place and coming up the hill and shantytown 2 shantytown 1 and then the other bale is right here and over there and he went and peed on it as if to say Jamie this pile is your pile I peed on it for you <laughs> <laughs> oh horses so um yeah because I'm an illustrator uh and I did several illustrations specifically to put in my journals they are kind of pricey but you know I've probably spent the last four months and thousands at least two thousand hours on all these journals so I saw what you did I saw you peed on your hay you little ding dong <sighs> but yeah if you want to support me I will put the links in once I get it in the mail and I don't really know how it turned out because I have still not received the, the journal yet I ordered it from Amazon I haven't seen it yet I don't know if my second one got published yet it got rejected the first time around because I I set it up wrong 
it's it's difficult to format everything's hard for me I'm from the 70s but whatever you know I've got one more journal that I'm gonna do that's gonna be for the whole year that one I am gonna be selling for a lot way more and the book I'm gonna try to put that out at a very reasonable price because that's more like how I healed him and since I don't know we'll see how it goes it'll be priced normal the other ones are more like keepsake gifts that I think I would like to keep them priced kind of high because my illustrations are in there and that's what I spent my whole life doing is working as an artist so trying to get excited about my journal hoping that it's as beautiful in person as I imagine it being in uh, virtuality, <laughs> virtual reality. I mean, I did print up the pages, but it's different paper than what they use. And um, my printer doesn't print the full layout properly. So it just was a nightmare. I've used two computers and like I said, it's been, it started off, I think four or five months ago is just like, I was just going to do like just a journal cover. So I'll show you what I did. I just took like a regular notebook. <laughs> this is how cheap I am. I didn't even buy it at the drugstore. I went to the Salvation Army and got a journal <laughs> because that's how cheap I am. So... I just glued a bunch of stuff on and then it started from there. I was like, wow, well, I can't use somebody else's illustrations for my journal that I publish. They have to be mine. So I had to take things that I loved that inspired me and redraw all of them from scratch using my own horses. So that's what I did. And it took me months and months and months and months. So that's why it's going to be at a pretty pricey price range, you know. So I guess if you support my channel and you want it, I can tell you right now that the journals are beautifully done. They're very intricate. Each page is pretty intricate. And if the health journal gets published it can actually work for somebody with their own health journey so it doesn't necessarily have to be just for horses it can be for people too and the other one too I mean it's got pretty illustrations and everything but you could use it as like a regular everyday journal so you don't have to even be a horse person the big journal I'm working on it's going to be I think I think I decided I was going to do like 170 some pages so front and back I don't know how that works I still am so dyslexic I can't figure out how the page layouts are, are. but um that one's going to be very intricate I think it's going to be mostly for horses but I think any of them could be used for people too if you wanted to so that's the story. The horses are doing good, aside from being on high alert because of the scary noises. But that's what's happening. Over and out. The mare. <laughs>